Hello everyone, today we're going to design network diagrams directly in Notion. So as you can see here, this is what the goal is for this video, what we're going to build today. So we have a basic network diagram with routers, firewalls, even subnets, and we can even have workstations and servers. And this is great if you just want to have a visual overview of your networks and you want to have that in this type of preview directly in Notion and don't have to do that in a separate design program. Now, this is done in what is called Mermaid. And Mermaid.js is kind of a diagramming, diagra diagramming and charting tool, as we can see here. And it's embedded directly in Notion that we can use to make flowcharts or pie charts and a bunch of different diagrams that we can use. So to get started, open up a page and you want to use the code block. So type for code, press enter and search right here for the language mermaid. And this is to use notify notion that we're using mermaid and not any other language. Just as we tell Google Translate that, hey, you're using French right now and not Spanish or, for example, Mandarin, so that we tell it how it should interpret what we are writing. Now, this is going to be a quite a big mermaid code. So if you want to be structured, you can also use what's called comments here in mermaid. So I'm going to make a couple of different comments. But before I do that, I'm going to specify what is the type of graph or diagram that I want to do. So you type graph. And then you say TD. And this is set, saying that I want to make a flow chart and it's going to go from top to bottom. Next up, I'll add my nodes. And nodes are basically what we have to specify the different boxes in our flow charts. So if we try this here, so we can see that we might have a box here and go to add another one. And another box and another one and another box just like that so each of these boxes they are called nodes and at the end we can specify all those kind of connections between um, the boxes these ones right there so we start with the boxes and now we say how they are connected so to create a box i'm going to make a comment here first with two percent signs saying here are my nodes. If we look at the one up top here, I'm not going to do an external router and external firewall. I will just use a router and a firewall and, yeah, and then the internal router, I guess. So we're going to make this kind of structure right here. So let's define the external router first. So for example, we can just say external router. That we might have our external firewall. Then I'm going to have my internal router. And those are kind of my first three elements right here. Then when you want to kind of link them together, I'm going to do another 2% signs and type in links. And in this case, I could just do external router goes to external firewall goes to internal router and just like that you have a basic kind of flow chart that we can start and expand upon so the first thing now i want to do is just define these this first subnet right here the shared resources so if you want that fancy little box around those ones you got to do what's called a subgraph. So you type subgraph and then the name of your subgraph. So I'm going to call it shared. And then you can say the name that you want to display inside this box. So for example, if we want to display shared resources, that's what we're going to put in right here. So shared resources. After that, we're going to do an enter and here um, and, and enter again and do end and that way we can 
and start filling in this subgraph or this box with our different things. So I'm gonna do a backup server and I'm gonna do a VPN server. You can see we get this nice little box. I'm also gonna do it for one more. So I'm gonna have subgraph and then marketing and it's just gonna be called uh, marketing right here. I'm gonna do an end and a marketing workstation. Um, but you can see it cannot be called marketing, for example, if you want to have a marketing workstation. So let's just call it workstation, um, for example, one. But as you can see, let's say I want to have a space here between workstation um, and workstation one. And in that case, I might just want to call it, for example, marketing workstation one, like that or even just marketing workstation one. And then what you can do is that you can put it kind of in, in one of these parentheses and then call it, for example, workstation one. And, and that's how you can have a different name that you'll refer to, but the actual text that's displayed is right here. So that's kind of it with those ones, but we also need to do some more links, right? And uh, to make this a bit more um, clear, I'm gonna put the links down here. And then from the internal router, I'm going to go to the shared subnet and I'm also gonna go to the marketing subnet. So as you can see, it goes to both of these and if we want to have a connection between, for example, our backup and our VPN server, that's pretty easy to do. We can just do backup and VPN. And just like that, you can have those ones linked if you want to. In this case, I think it looks nicer to just have them as they are and do it like that. So in its all entirety, this is actually the most basic thing that you can do but what makes this one a bit cooler is that we are having these nice icons. And there is actually a way to add in icons in Mermaid using a special image tag. So in HTML, that's kind of a script or language that you use, or it's called a markup language that you use for the web. You can use something called an image tag. Um, and it looks kind of like this. And in it, you can specify a source, that means where you find the image, and put basically whatever image you would like in it. So up here when I'm having my external router, I'm actually gonna replace that or add to it a, an extra image. And I got this image links. So you can go on icons eight or any other and search up some nice icons that you would like to use. And this is how you do it. So you do um, the parentheses with two kind of quote quotation marks. And then you do what's called an image tag and it looks like this. And then you need to specify a source. So the link to your um, image and also the width of the icon that you want to use. So in my case, it's gonna be 50. I think that works pretty well. And inside the source here, I'm going to just copy in and paste my router. And on the end right here, because we have replaced this with an image tag, we won't see, as you can see here, we won't see the text as well. We only see the image. So we can actually do uh, something a bit extra. So we're going to go outside this quotation mark. We're gonna do a break command, type in, we can actually try it inside here. So we're gonna do a break. So we're gonna do a new line and then we're gonna say external router right here. And you can see it kind of works, but it's a bit kind of chopped off. So I found that you need to do another break and then a little dot. And just like that, you have the full name. So I'm gonna do the same thing for our other kind of images right here. So give me a moment. So we've got external router, internal router. Just paste this in here for the firewall. 
just like that. And the same thing you do for, for example, the backup. So I'm going to copy all of this again. And this, of course, is going to be external firewall. And then you do kind of a similar thing for the backup server. So backup and VPN. And for, of course, for the workstation one here. So we'll do a workstation one and then you just copy in your URLs instead of these routers. So I'm going to remove those and remove this one and you just populate it with what we want. So for the backup, I want the server, we kind of a configuration kind of wheel. So I'm going to copy that for the VPN. I just want a standard server and for the marketing workstation i just want a workstation just like this and if you scroll down you can already see that this is looking a lot nicer the next thing i want to do though is that i want to remove these boxes behind the images and what i can do that is i actually use something called styling and with styling i can define certain classes that allow me to style the elements that I want to. So let's show you how that is done. I'm going to make a new section here called the styling and I'm going to do class def. So define a new class, call it image or IMG for short, and I'm not going to do my styles. So I can say a fill of none and a stroke width of zero pixels and a semicolon. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that you make kind of a new style class called image or IMG. And then here I specify how I want my image class to look. So I say, do not fill, do not have this kind of um, box and remove the border by saying stroke with zero pixels. But as you can see, nothing has changed. And that's because we haven't said that any of our tags or any of our nodes should have this CSS or this class style. But it's very easily done. You just go to the end, three colons and IMG. And now you can see that this one was applied for a workstation. And if I do another one here, do -do -do -do, IMG, and I can copy this one and paste it at all the other places at the very, very end that says, hey, for this node, apply this styling right here. And as you can see, we get this very nice network graph. So when you're happy with your network graph, you just turn this over to preview instead of split. And just like that, you have your network uh, diagram. You can add a little title at the top if you want to. So network diagram. You could even have a little legend if you want to say that it's a router and, and workstation, but I think that's kind of what you get with these icons. And that's it. So I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please hit the like button for similar videos in the future. But until then, have a great day. Goodbye.